gear set gear set it's tool or applications that's actually allowing us to um, promote code from one environment to another when we are working with a Salesforce related development so with the help of the gear set what we could do is we could actually create our own pipeline define from what environment to which environment we could actually promote the code we will be able to organize the JIT uh, related branches related to different environments and we will be able to simplify actual commits you know like and uh, possibilities you know like for us to promote code from one environment to another with the help of the gear set so let's take a look what kind of basic functionality we have uh, in the gear set so one of the main let's say tools or main chapter in that uh, application it's compare and deploy so it's actually allowing us to deploy and compare between each other Salesforce related metadata CPQ configuration and velocity items so at this moment we have a possibility for us to for example compare two Salesforce organizations and if there are, will be some dips found uh, based on our let's say comparison filters and what we could do is we could actually promote the changes from the source uh, location to the target location. The similar idea is related to scratch work or for example source control system or even local files. So if for example we have some archive right and we would like to deploy it to some environment or we would like to merge it into the JIT related to our organization we could actually use it. So at this moment uh, Gearset if I remember support uh, Azure DevOps, it support JIT and it uh, should support GitHub uh, and I think um, GitLab. Uh, we will take it. Uh, we, we will take a look um, a little bit later when we will take a look into the documentation. But at this moment, it's just for your information that you could actually um, combine those, uh, let's say, source control system and use them with uh, gear set together. So as you could see, as a part of um, the tool, we also have a possibility for us uh, to save our comparison, to prepare draft deployments, to be able to. Uh, let's say later share them with other persons we have possibility to check our comparison history for whatever reasons we have a possibility to uh, you know like when we're doing our deployments when we prepare in a pipeline and to do our deployments from one environment to another to for example run our monitorings and our monitoring system what it will do it will actually check if uh, we could actually deploy or promote that specific pull request to the next environment so it will actually validate it and uh, pull request let's say against of another environment and then only it will help you to promote it so the similar situation is related to unit testing jobs so how it's work it's let's say have a hook right and when uh, we created the new pull request so when that pull request will be validated against an environment so unit tests uh, validations will be included so as well gear set contains quality gates so that means that against of each uh, environment that you have in the pipeline you could apply in quality gates related to organizations like for example um, I don't know, like unit test code coverage or for example uh, complexity of Apex classes or for example sharings or security um, items check and all other stuff which we could um, think of or which are exist in the PMD um, checks. Uh, so other items which we could also do here it's related to possibility for us to configure and deploy items right so we, we could perform data deployments so that means that we could from one uh, let's say source organization grab our data right and then promote the data to the um, target organization and then we could check what was our deployment history other than that we also have possibility for us to uh, prepare backups right if it's required for the organization to have it and we have a possibility to actually build our pipeline with the help of Salesforce source control and services chapter and Salesforce org so if you would like to connect any kind of Salesforce org we could actually do it uh, through the tab and uh, what is uh, necessary for us to do it's actually go here click on the new organization set up what is our credentials related to our orgs and authorize if it's using enhanced domains and put this domain here and uh, as you could see here also we have a possibility for us to automatically uh, enable the following jobs like for example monitor this or for metadata changes each day if it's required for a unit test each day or backup the data in this org each day right so if something of that is required for any kind of org that we're introducing like for example for UAT maybe we need to run unit tests you know like every day or something like this so we could actually do it with the help of you know like that uh, item also what is very interesting it's all 
we have here you know like link to the documentation which easily uh, let's say letting us know what exactly needs to be done here so once we connected uh, our cell force orgs right so there are, might be um, different orgs like for example development org, UAT org, QA org, production org right so we will then use them for us to be able to combine it all together and build our pipeline so then we have our uh, source control and services so uh, idea behind it is in the following so we have a possibility for us to actually synchronize uh, gear set with Jira right and when some um, pull request is merged into the appropriate environment we could automatically change the status of that related user story and also each time when we prepare in let's say pull request right we could link it to the related um, user story and what it will do it will automatically show all of the required uh, commits under the specific gear set oh sorry under the specific Jira user story so we as that manner you could actually always when you're looking into the pipeline and you're observing pull requests to promote from one environment to another you will be able to see the statuses of the related user stories right and then you will be able you know like to not ask your developers to sit and take a look when the actual job will be deployed right to then change the status on the related user story so it will be done automatically and also it's very useful in terms of the history when in the Jira you could actually see what was you know like uh, commits and pull requests related to that specific user story uh, so when we go into the creation of the pipeline, so here we could specify the name of our pipeline, we could specify what is our repository and select exact repository. So then we could uh, select default branch for new feature branches, so usually for gear set recommendation it will be main, so each time when we create a new feature branch it will be created from main, not from develop. So and then gear set comparison tool will actually grab necessary changes, right? And then it will pick it up because the way how gear set work is in the following. So when you, for example, creating a new branch, right? As I just mentioned, as per uh, gear set recommendation, it will be always from main. Uh, so then you will add via comparison and deploy tool um, necessary items, right? Uh, which you just created on your environment. So for example, new Apex class, new LVC component, new flow. You will add it into that branch. So then uh, you will click commit. So what gear set doing is when you just prepare you know like regular pull request, it will actually um, close that pull request, right? And then it will generate its own. So what it will do, it will actually make a clone of uh, your uh, specific environment branch let's imagine that it will be dev environment right it's the first instance where you would like to deliver your code so it will actually clone that specific environment branch then it will you know like um, let's say cherry pick those uh, commits that you added into the your feature branch right and then it will show you this as a pull request so in that uh, manner gear set making sure that you know like um, the code will be deployed against of all of the environments so in that strategy as i just mentioned once that pull request will be merged to dev the status if you will set it will automatically change it as you know like deploy it to dev you know like and then when you will need to deploy it to qa so idea will be the same once the pull create is created against of the qa environment um gear set will do the same right it will clone the uh, qa related environment branch it will cherry pick your changes into the branch right and then it will show you in that commit so as you could see uh, next item create back propagation pull request so it's related to the following like for example when you did some release or for example you did some hot fixes and you applied them to your environment uh, for example at the top level right so you need to then back promote those changes to the low level environments to make sure that it will actually exist in the basic branch right to not override it you know like when some developer will do new development on some touched items so that will help a lot right and your pipeline will automatically show you what kind of back promotions you need to do so next item is related to uh, run validation on final environment right and we could specify here uh, should it be done for all pull requests or for releases only right then auto delete feature branches after merge or pipeline can only be edited by owner right it's depend on uh, your company let's say structure so once the um, pipeline is created, right, so here you could see this drop down with the pipelines and you could specify different kind of environments. Like for example, here on this example, we could see that there are two dev boxes um, linked, right, and then uh, those two developers, when they are working there, uh, would like to promote their changes into the integration environment. 
right? So when the pull request is created, it's showing up like this near with the appropriate gear set environment. And then, you know, like once it will be promoted into the integration environment, it will show up here near with UAT, right? So it not means that you need to immediately merge it into the UAT environments, but it will let you know that there are some pull requests which is pending, right? Once everything will be validated on the integration environment, it will show up here. So the similar uh, picture is here. When we have a hotfix, right, when there will be some changes applied here, so it will automatically show up a new possible merge uh, for us to do against of the uh, production environment so with uh, that manner right when we edit our environments or add our environments so we could actually combine uh, any kind of um, our deployment pipeline configurations that we would like to actually have uh, for our organization and uh, it's also support different kind of pipelines so that means that if in your organization there are a couple of um, let's say pipelines right for different teams so it's also uh, possible to use it in that kind of manner so let's jump now to the pricing right which is uh, officially available on the gear set uh, uh, pricing page and uh, if you will go here we will be able to see prices which are related to a starter package right and teams package and what is you know like difference between them like for example basic compare and deploy functionality right uh, source control for all JIT providers, full deployment history, deployment re reports, and limited production orgs. And for the Teams, you could see it um, contains additional items like issue tracking integration, so it looks like maybe something um, where you could actually track your logs, right, and uh, log them, delegate access, clone combine and redeploy packages, deployment rollback, schedule a deployment and then you know there are also enterprise functionality uh, so now let's take a look into the uh, PDF document which I found which contains you know like what kind of uh, features um, we have available in the gear set uh, so we have an opportunity to do metadata deployments integration with JIT and other tools automated CI CD pipeline okay Full support for DX data deployments. So I think we briefly discuss it. Backup and restore, audit and reporting. Okay, product features. So we have a possibility for us to add developer, sandbox, and production orgs. We have a possibility to also add uh, scratch orgs. We have a possibility you know, to work without a problem with situations where we have my um, domain enabled connect to any JIT based version control system let me see what is here github gitlab bitbucket azure devops uh, abs code commit so all of them are actually supported so in terms of comparison features we have possibility as i mentioned earlier you know like uh, to do any kind of configurations like org to org, source to source, org to source, local files to source, you know, like any kind of combinations of, of it, right? And what it's do also, it's um, helping us, you know, like to automatically understand the API version. So if it's not detected on the project level in the JIT, right? So that means that Gearset always trying to use the most, uh, you know, like latest version that we have available in the market. Uh, okay, search and filter comparison results, of course. Then create deployments packages using click node code, philosophy, deploy new, change it and delete items, outer rollback on failures on deployment, advanced metadata dependency analysis, deployment package validations, and all this stuff, save draft deployment. So there are, you know, like pretty a lot. And if you are guys interested in, you know, like this stuff, you could take a look. Um, so maybe next next topic that we need to discuss, right? It's uh, related to the gear set, right? Because um, the basic idea of all these, you know, like CICD tools, it's for us to be able to actually promote um, our code from one environment to another, right? And then introduce the quality gates. So as I just mentioned, in terms of the quality gates, at this moment, uh, Gearset allowing us to do two quality gates. Uh, let's say one of them is related to static code analysis, right? When it's looking into your code in terms of the business rules that you specified in the uh, company settings, like for example, should it run um, Apex code complexity checks? 
should it run it's too many variables in the method checks uh, should it run uh, let's say other uh, things like this right so we're doing so so then what it's do also for every pull request like this for example when you will want to promote it to environment it's uh, run the related validations to it right and it's actually take a look if that specific uh, item could be deployed to, to that environment right and once that environment branch is changed it's automatically revalidates the pull request to make sure that you know there will be no merge conflicts so also it's possible for you in a, you know like manual uh, manner to rerun validations against that environment so it's uh, possible and uh, it's actually help you you know like to do all, all the stuff related to deployments so what it also do you know like uh, we are iteration so it's for will first of all take a look into the um, merge conflicts then it will take a look for the deployment that it's deployable also it will take a look for the static code right so then it will look for unit tests that say are not failing and then it will take a look for the code coverage so all this you know like runs you could do to make sure that uh, quality of your code is good you know like other than just pull request uh, review from the um, technical leader of the team right and then it will do the same against of you know like next environment let's say so in that case you could be able to you know like see any kind of possible issues prior than that specific code will be merged to the specific environment so then as we just discussed it when the some hot fixes will be promoted to the prod right so what gearset will do it will automatically create big promotions pull request near with you know like each of the um town tree uh, items right and uh, then um, developers who's you know like, responsible for that they will be able to back promote it so other features which is available here it's also a possibility to, to combine a couple of pull requests into one release right it's on it will be available near with a production type of org right which is related to master branch as you could see here in near with issue environment we have a related gene branch and then you could select a couple of pull requests and promote them to the um to the environment right so it's actually do two stuff first of all it will merge code into the related JIT branch right so that's why it's checking for the merge conflicts and then you know like it will deploy those changes to the environment so that's why it's do you know like all these pre-validations so it's actually help you you know like to not do uh, to stuff by yourselves right between those two environments you could use compare and deploy for example for your new feature you could grab all new changes from that environment uh, convert it into the pull request right and then deploy it across the pipeline and promote it to uh, to the prod. So this moment is just in terms of the quick overview for you guys to understand, you know, like what is um, the tool is uh, related to, right? What kind of, let's say, um, basic uh, functionality is behind of it, right? And if you will be interested, maybe just leave a comment under that video so we will uh, see if there will be some time so we will maybe uh, prepare more advanced video related to the gear set. So at this moment, thank you for your attentions and cheers cheers